Good morning, everybody, and happy Wednesday. Hey, this week just seems so off. All right, so as I mentioned, they have, uh, I got my kids with me. They had turkey on sale uh, last night. So it is 10. I meant to get out of here and get there at 9, but unfortunately, I was still sleeping. <laughs> Video is edited, but it's rendering, and you guys will have to tell me in the comments what in the hell that was when I was walking down from the maintenance shed yesterday. I mean, if I would have had the Action 5, it would have been clear. It may have been a plane, but because of the background blur, it made it look like a UFO. But yeah, it was weird, that's for sure. I'm like, hmm, what is that? So I zoomed in on it. Uh, yeah, we have uh, 30 degrees, negative one Celsius. So it's, it's a little on the brisk side, but I didn't feel too much wind. I do have my hand warmers, my beanie, because we're going to hit all these, and I'm deciding which park we're going to do. We might just run up to Heshbon for this morning and go to the bridge and then come back. They're going to be happy with getting a walk. When I said car ride and park, man, both of them got all excited. So we are out and about <clears throat> at 10 o'clock. So I have 11, 12, one, three hours. But I'm going to jump in the shower and go get the video done. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll make this a short video today and not. Uh, I don't know. The other thing last night was the Christmas lights. The only problem is if a light hits the windshield, like a street light or something, that's when you get a major problem. But Christmas lights through the windshield actually looks pretty decent. Um, so, I don't know. Kind of on the fence which way I want to go. The other question is, what camera do I use? If I do the roof, I think the Action 5 is my smarter bet. Not using my car without sun, this car does not have a sunroof, which is another issue. Which is kind of surprising, considering this is a limited. Did my white one have a sunroof? I don't think it did. I don't think my white one had a sunroof, and it was a premium. The, the Silver Legacy had the sunroof. Yeah, the white car did not. So, it just makes it where I have an, an access point that I can reach up and grab the camera in emergency. But Tim did offer or did agree that he would drive for me. He said, that's not a problem. I don't mind. So that you can be in control of the camera and stuff. Um, we'll see. Got to, I want to do some testing here, but right this week is just such a chaotic week with going back and forth with shifts. So my original plan was to take my car get gas, take them to, to um, Canfield, not Canfield, but the um, Indian Park, the pond, and then go to Aldi's. I took everything out of my car. It's clean. It's ready to go. I was going to, you know, get gas in the thing, so it was done. But she's going to take it Friday anyway to go to Walmart for the 20, for our extra discount. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going along or not. Because I close Friday. I might. We'll see. Yeah, also, I am trying the... Uh, the Equate version of the Mucinex today. I opened that up, and it's weird because they actually come in a bottle, which is more a little more convenient, I guess, for travel. So, take them with me when I go to Jersey. Not that I'm, if I took one in the morning, it'll probably be basically be almost. No, I, yeah, I won't need another one until well after I get home. But we'll see how well they. I, I don't really know what they're supposed to do if they're supposed to just break it up or what but i'm assuming yeah well, my body seems to do that pretty good by itself but uh yeah there's we can drive around one of these nights and i'm sure there is christmas lights all over the place it's just a matter of it's a little tricky when you're driving to you know i mean this thing's set up pretty convenient even in my car would be set up i don't know if i'm going to put the upper the hook it to the mirror i'm going to try to find that attachment and just the the bar not be there and put the suction mount in my car i don't know 
I'm pretty sure New Jersey, I think Pennsylvania is actually, it's illegal to have anything mounted to your windshield nowadays, but I don't know. <clears throat> They'd have to have another violation, I think, in order to pull you over for it. I don't think they can just get you on that, so. I don't know which best way to go for, I don't even know what I'm going to film. I mean, there's a couple spots on the trip that I know I want to film. The Perth Amboy Bridge, that's always fun when we go over that. And I'm sure just some of the trip, if we see anything. And of course, on my way back, I'll, if I get out of there early enough, I might get, if it's not like, well, it's not like this, cloudy, might get some sunset. <laughs> Alrighty, turkey is acquired. And we are now at Heshbon. A little snow on the ground. Mike ran into some squalls yesterday going up by his mom's, which is where we did the one photo shoot that one night. I didn't film any of that because I was an idiot. I was too busy, A, trying to stay warm, and B, run cameras. That's the trick, is trying to multitask. Doing everything on your own. <clears throat> it's a little rough, especially with these guys. But they just stayed in the car on that one. But hand warmers are on. Not even trying gloves. Yeah, unfortunately for this, those gloves are a little too bulky. And like I said, for work, they're a little bulky too. But eh, I think if I try wearing them, eventually I, I might get my fingers to to work out. So just going to let them do their thing here. To some extent, Priya, we can't sniff the same spot for 30 minutes. <laughs> she goes, fine, I'll go two feet away. All right, we got... Uh, Boom Boom's out of the way. And everybody, I'll get Piddles. All right, good job, Priya. Whew. It's refreshing out, that's for sure. And we're supposed to have uh, some intermittent snow throughout the day. So I didn't mean to turn you around, but since I did, guess I'll hold the damn thing head level. That seems to be the problem, is I'm holding it way too low. Because even yesterday, again, it was down really far, so I wish they'd quit walking in freaking circles around me. That is annoying. We're not going to get very far very fast on this one. That's all right. The idea was that they got out and got to see the park. Come on around the tree, Priya. Come on. I'm sniffing other dogs, Dad. Yeah, they're calling for snow flurries, showers, something or other. I always say that'd be really neat while we're out, but very rarely does it happen. I know we did at the park the other day. Where are you going, Mateo? They're very sporadic. Where are you going, buddy? Yeah, putting this thing on fast seems to be the trick for me. It's uh, working a little bit better. Let's get some motion in our legs. Standing around sniffing just is, is cold. If we're walking, we make some body heat, Mateo. Warm your Eddie Bowers up. Come on, let's go. Come on, keep moving. Waddle your little butt. <laughs> well, Priya's not so scared today because no one's dribbling basketballs. But uh, yeah, this is the, the basketball court that a ball came flying across and she, from this point on, does not like basketballs bouncing at all. Even if they're 40 feet from her, she freaks out. Yeah, I've kind of migrated back to the pocket here. Um, oh, as, like I said, the Action 5 is not going to just sit around. It's going to get used as well. Just uh, honestly, this thing, it lives up to its name with being, being in the pocket. Um, with all the crap I have on the Action 5, getting it in and out of my pocket is a little stressful sometimes. The remote catches, but... One less thing to turn on because the remote's built into this. So, and I was kind of impressed because I did quite a Ken Burns zoom on whatever that was in the sky. And at one point it was paused on my face and it was zoomed in probably 200%. It's like, damn, that image is clear. <laughs> All right, it's a little windy. I'm going to wait until we get down by the bridge. And uh, I'm going to put you away for a minute because I'm going to warm my hands up. All right, this isn't the uh, bridge. Come on, Priya. You see her just pulling back? 
He's sniffing like crazy. But this is the section that we came down here and out there in that tree line with the groundhogs that day. That scared the crap out of me. They came out of the tree line and dogs went nuts and groundhogs took off the other way. Thank God. That would be bad. Groundhog versus a basset hound and a bin pin. I'm pretty sure the dogs would definitely lose that battle. I'd have to get the Gerber out and kill some groundhogs. Come on, Mr. Priya, let's go. I mean, there's really nothing to see here, but just that little memory of one of our other adventures. Yeah, you gotta clean the screen off on this thing. I, the one thing I have to say is, I'm, I'm thinking because of the, the material this is, when I put my hands in my pockets, it literally seals everything shut. I, I think I mentioned it when I was on the river walk by myself the other day. It keeps your hands nice and warm. It does, especially with the hand warmers, that does help. But uh, even without them the other day, because I don't think I had them when I went on my own. And uh, it, it, my hands were, were toasty once I put them in my pockets because it sealed it shut and no air could get in. So I got one dog all the way over there. I got one dog all the way over here wrapping me up. And this one's pulling me backwards. That's what she was sniffing was probably a groundhog hole. Let's hope one doesn't come out right now. I think there's a bunch of them through here. I think there's one over there too. This one's open though. And Priya is like, what's in there? Come on, leave it alone. We don't want to find them. Come on camera and look down at the doggy. Oh, oh this will give us, this gives him some grass. Mateo, when we hit the pavement, she, he was not happy. He's like, uh, I don't like this. This is cold on my little feet. Can't imagine the grass is any warmer. You must, you must watch your traffic. You got cars coming up and down the road, Bobby. I think it's safe now. Come on. Come on. Lock them down. We got a little bit of ice along the edge of the Lycoming Creek here. I don't know if you can even see it because a lot of obstacles. There it goes. Clears up. A little bit of ice along the edge. Ooh, we do have Canadians. We have a bunch of Canadians over here, guys. There we do. Wow. I got a lot of them. They're all the way down yonder, too. Cool. You guys didn't fly north, huh? Or south? <laughs> a bunch this way, too. Let's be down. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Damn it, I got the camera out and he's got a corn cob in his mouth. I don't know where he went though. My corn. <laughs> All right, they're excited to go back home now. We're turning around. This is like, the main reason I like walking out here is I just think this is really neat looking with it being an old railroad bridge. I think it always looks really cool, but it's not something I like doing over and over and over again. It's kind of a boring path, really. Did catch some uh, Canadian geese and, the, and a squirrel holding a piece of corn, so that was cool. Just one of the pictures with AJ in Arizona was on the basically right where I was aiming, right about there they were standing, sitting holding each other's paw. It was so cute. Pictures. Got a couple of them in around the house, I think. What? What? She's like, let's go, Dad. I sniffed. All right. Here we back to the car. Go home. Come the shower. Export the video. Get ready for work. Feels good to get back in the car, that's for sure. Wind was in our face on the way back. Oh. Gosh, Ugh. I don't know why, but since I've cut my hair, my head fits, feels very itchy lately. I don't know why. All right, <laughs> blow my nose. 
I don't want to do that on camera. You know, I keep, ever since Mike's got me working with the, in manual on the uh, RX-10 Mark IV, I keep kind of wondering what could have been had I learned more with the RX-100 Mark VII, photography-wise. It did not make a great vlogging camera, in my opinion. Neither does the ZV-1 mainly because the stability is just not, and I don't understand it. It's a bigger unit. Mike's camera has sensor shift. He has Olympus OM-1, not the Mark II, just the basic. That thing shoots in ProRes, has five axis stabilization with sensor shift. Uh, the boy's gonna have to let me play with that once. Put that bad boy on a handle and uh, do some vlogging with that thing. Because that screen flips out. It'll probably piss him off because he wants to use it for photography. But I want to see what that thing looks like. Because that is full frame. But I just cannot. Here's my problem with these cameras with interchangeable lenses. It's just a too much money granted the quality is impressive okay it's insane um photography wise we haven't seen video like i said i want to try it with video <clears throat> but then you need so many different types of lenses and you still cannot get to what the RX-10 Mark IV can get without anything else by itself. 600 millimeter to buy a 600 millimeter lens, you basically need a 300 millimeter and then use the uh, the, the magnifier or whatever. I forget what the hell that's called. Anybody with photography knows what I'm talking about. It's just too much. I just, but I just sit there and go, damn, if I would have switched the RX-100 Mark VII onto manual. I could have done these shots. It is was technically newer, one inch sensor, and it was actually based off higher end cameras than what the Mark, the 10 Mark IV was. So, but we sold it, it's gone. What gets me though is the fact that they make the HX99, it's discontinued now, of course. You think you can still get them on Amazon, maybe? Um, 720, 720 millimeter zoom. Why they couldn't make the zoom on the one, Mark, RX100 Mark 7 at least five or 600? The other camera is actually smaller. Smaller sensor. 200 millimeter zoom versus 720. Mm -hmm. That is just optical. That is not digital. That's, that exceeds the RX-10 Mark IV by 120 millimeters. <laughs> but I think the reason they quit making all these cameras is they were digging into the more professional cameras because people were getting like, well, hell, why would I spend this much money when I can spend, why spend 25 when I can spend 12 and get a camera that's this good? I understand where they're coming from, but at the same time, for us people that aren't, you know, professional shooters, they quit. <laughs> it's like the TX series. They could have come out with a TX series that could just blow the socks off. But all these camera companies, stabilization needs to start being a thing, in my opinion. Because you're losing out to the phones and the, and the action cameras and the, the pocket with stabilization. It's not a good video device at all. All right, let me rephrase that. Quality-wise, they're good cameras. Stabilization is a major thing. Yes, you can fix in post, but you're going to lose. You, it's gonna zoom in to fix it in post. So it's the same concept, it's just happening after the fact, so it's adding one more step to the workflow at the back end, instead of these cameras just did it on board. 
But yeah, that really makes me want to test the OM1 for video because I think that would, that could actually, if you, what lens does he have? Like a 14 to 25? Can you imagine 14 millimeter? That's wider than the freaking Action 5. It's a little too much. I would like to stay probably around the 17, 18 mark. I'm gonna let this guy go because he is literally in my lane with his trailer, which it's cool. This is a really sharp turn. Hmm. There's uh, Terry's arch nemesis's house. <laughs> um, comments, I'd like to know someone else's opinion on this. I mean, I, there's, there's these YouTubers that literally film with these big monster ass cameras and I just don't quite understand in this day and age with the smaller camera quality why you would walk around with such a ring anymore I don't know but yeah I just, I'm just, I mean, while I'm walking, I'm sitting here going, it'd be nice to have something a little bigger to pull out of my pocket than the iPhone to, to get some pictures because the Mark IV, the, the RX-10 Mark IV is just too much to carry around on just a normal dog walk. <sighs> oh, well, can't afford it anyway. And uh, someday someone will be like, hey, I heard that guy say stabilization, so here's a camera with freaking excellent stabilization with a big sensor that's compact and has decent zoom. I want credit for it. Um, okay, maybe they have something tonight because we've already got snow on the ground here. We got some turkey too to go home with. Manager marked it way down today. Yes, I came in for turkey this that morning and then we got more, but yeah. It is coming down, baby. Might have to set a camera up tonight. And of course, I said goodnight already, so I didn't bring any cameras with me. So all I have is the phone and I don't have any phone mounts in this car. I don't have any in mine right now either, to be honest with you. Oh, this is lovely. This is really lovely. I mean, the roads are covered. So, I don't know what the road crew has done. I don't think they were planning on this hitting tonight. But it's coming down like gangbusters. This is cool. Except I have to drive home all three miles in it. All right, home sweet home. Swept the walkway because that's what the sidewalk looked like. And then put down, I just used literally table salt, Morton's iodized salt. If you have a short little pathway, and honestly, keeping it in your car, just like if you're at work or something, you can kind of keep it thawed around your car, maybe. Be a little tip and trick, but you can tell. I mean, it was already sticking again after I swept, and it's melted all out. So, a little pathway so I can get to the car in the morning. And uh, yeah, it is uh, it is snowing pretty good. All right, I'm gonna set up the Action 5 on a, a suction cup on the window. Plug it in and uh, we'll see what we get in the morning. We're calling for one to three inches. And I say we got three quarters of an inch so far already here. So thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Have a good night as always. Uh, I know I went through this already, but uh, yeah, surprise snowstorm. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Have a great night. Stay safe. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, thumb up and comment. I will see you in the morning as always. Night.